Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm not behind the wheel of any car and I'm here joined by Mr. Tony Lewis. Welcome everybody. I've had my current M3 rear wheel drive for about six or seven months now uh, and absolutely love it. But annoyingly, BMW then brought up the X-Drive, which I had recently on the channel, press car, and um, yeah, kind of fell in love with that car. It's everything the rear wheel drive is and a little bit better in pretty much every area. Uh, and when you look at the price differential, there's next to nothing in it. On top of that, and I'm not, as you hopefully know, I'm not one of those YouTubers that do change my car every three weeks or three months even. And I know this is jumping out of my M3 that's still pretty new. Uh, but one of the main reasons for that, aside from the fact that the X-Drive is a better car as a package, is the crazy residuals and market at the moment. But yeah, so long story short, financially it makes good sense to change because I've basically lost nothing on the M3. Um, in terms of the car itself, the X-Drive's better, so why would I not? And then you add into the, um, the, the equation that I've got a YouTube channel, and I need to fuel it with new stuff, and uh, why not get a new M3 for the channel? And that's kind of what's led us to being here, because I absolutely love my Portimao Blue, as most of you know, and in fact, the reception I got when I got that car was 99% positive for spec, so love the Portimao Blue, love the Kailami Orange, and I think if this was a private exchange, and I wasn't online, I would probably be tempted to go for the same spec. Um, oh, there she is. Well, yeah, I put I put red brakes on. Oh, there, red. But, yeah. but that's just me, <laughs> that's Joe. Just you know, there has you know, to be some. <laughs> got to put some red on it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there has to be some South London on it. I want to feel like I've got a new car again because if I got the same spec, it would basically feel like the same thing when I was approaching it. So today, Tony and I are going to sit down the configurator, have a look at what the options are because there have been a few little changes since I ordered this car. There's a couple of extra interior leather colours. A um, few bits and pieces, but fundamentally it's the same. Um, but I thought I'd bring you along for the process and then you can see what I lock in. This time I'm not going to leave it up to you lot to decide. I'm actually going to lock it in um, today because it needs to get locked in. Uh, and hopefully it'll be here at some point um, next year, maybe in time for March and the new edge. But talking the new edge doesn't really bother me too much, just more for residuals because I think the Grillez plate will live on. Oh yes, <laughs> Grillez for, that cost me a good 299 pounds or something from the DVLA. It's gonna cost you more to keep transferring. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, wait, you said you were gonna do that for yeah. me. Oh, oh yeah. anyway, yeah. anyway okay. we'll discuss that later. Yeah. Uh, and any of you that don't know Tony Lewis, well, I've been buying cars off him now for about five, five years probably. Um, robbing me blind for the last five years. Robbing you yeah, blind yeah. for the last five years. Convincing me that this was a good investment between us. <laughs> yeah. A two-way street, I think you worded it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and to be fair, mate, it has. I mean, honestly, I, I'm not going to blow smoke, but the amount of customers that email me each day and the opening line is, I've been watching Joe's videos. It's kind of almost a bit of a standing joke internally now. They probably don't so, watch them. They probably just think if they say that, they get a discount well, or actually, something. Well, that's a good point. You yeah. never thought of it like that. <laughs> no, but thank you to everyone that does watch my stuff. It's really amazing. And um, and I get more and more people coming up, talk to me in random places, and it's just really nice. So if you ever see me and you do watch my stuff, please come say hi. What you're going to see here is very similar to what you'd have at home with your uh, configurator, but obviously we're at Barry BMW in Croydon, forgot to mention that, uh, which is basically uh, where Tony pretty much bases himself these days. Um, amazing showroom. Uh, I've done a few videos down here already, but yeah, incredible showroom and location. Let's crack on with the video. So firstly, on the configurator, you've still got two M3 options fundamentally, haven't you? You've got the rear wheel drive. Yep and you've got the X-Drive. I personally can't see too many people going for the rear-wheel drive now. Even rear-wheel drive diehards um, had this conversation with a lot of people, and to me it's like, if you can preset one of your M buttons as a rear-wheel drive button, which you can, then I don't see the point in, personally, I'm like, why, why would you go for? Yeah, I think, well, the, I think the M5 proved the point, didn't it? Because that broke the mold going X-Drive yep. for an M car. And, and everyone went, what a fantastic system. And, yeah. and it's developed and developed. And now we're in a stage with the M3 where you've got the choice of the two. And I suppose the key thing to point out really is that price differential 
is only sort of two, you know, you're looking at it there, it's a couple of thousand pounds, yeah. so 2,200 pounds. Yeah. Of course, that's only relative to someone paying cash. Yeah. And 99% of our customers now are leasing or PCPing. Yeah. And that gap is ever closer. You know, we're, yeah. we're now talking in the realms of sort of, you know, 15 pounds a month difference or something. Yeah. Know? So when you sort of break it down like that, the cost isn't the issue. No. And I know you would have been a big arguer for the weight. Yeah. But, but then, of course, it's relative, isn't it? You it know, is. If you're talking about an 1100 kilo car, X Drive makes a big difference. Yeah. These aren't 1100 no. kilos. So, no. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm carrying. Oh, X, mate. I carry an X Drive around with me pretty much all yeah. the time. So, what yeah. difference is it really going to make? It, you know, not even a tenth of a second. So. No. And, and the added performance and agility that the X Drive gives the car kind of completely offsets. The weight penalty, yeah. and I know uh, Sutcliffe put an X Drive versus a rear wheel drive around Bedford, which in my head, when I drive my current M3 around Bedford, I think, oh well, that's the sort of circuit where an X Drive is not going to benefit at all because it's quite fast and flowy, and and even though he still managed to go nearly a second quicker, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is on a lap time, in the X Drive, so even on a circuit like that, yeah. it's quicker, yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's just because the way it picks up out of corners. Um, it's agility and also the confidence you have this time of year when it's slippery and cold. Um, even though I class myself as a, as a reasonable driver, when you're in the rear wheel drive, you've got to have your wits about you. Whereas the X drive, yeah. it, it's, it's, yeah. play, you know, it's on your side all the time. So, um, so yeah, so we'll start. So we, so we're going M3 X drive. So we know we're going X drive yeah. because there, there would be little point. And I, I suppose the other thing to just point out to, to your viewers really is from the point of view that this really wasn't the plan, was it? The plan was to get you to the touring. Yes. Yeah. But of course, it looks like the touring is going to come a little bit later than we anticipated. Yeah. And your car mileage will go up. Yeah. And the values, dare I say, it, the values might slide a little bit towards the end of the yeah. year. We, we're in a really good place. There's a bit of a purple patch for used car values right now. So yeah. you know, it just makes sense. You're absolutely right, Tony. And uh, the M3 touring, as with many of your customers, is the end goal. And I was thinking or hoping that, let's say by next summer, yeah. summer 22, uh, the touring will be here, yeah. but it's, it's not because of various yeah. reasons, yeah. you know, whatever's going on in the world and the chips and everything. So realistically, that's still 14 months off or something, I reckon beginning I of 23 or something. Yeah, I think, I think that's sort of the way it's looking at the minute. I mean, we, we've got nothing official. A lot of people say, oh, you must know, you must know you're on the inside. I, I tend to find most of my information out from people like Sutcliffe or from all, okay, you know, it's yeah. like, you, you just hear about it. So yeah, it, it's looking that way, I think, so. Yeah, so this were tied to, say, say this one turns up March, April next yeah. year, that will then tie me over to the extra, yeah. uh, to the touring. Yeah. Um, so it works out perfect. And then maybe Portmail Blue will make a return on the touring. Who knows? Can I you imagine? That, that would be nice, be nice yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. That's another reason to get away from Portmail Blue for this, because I might back go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who knows? Well, on that subject, let's look at some colours then, shall yeah. we? So we, we, you know, it's Start quite refreshing. There. We have got a fair palette. Yeah. With you know, compared to our usual um, colour palette. It, it's pretty decent, isn't it, with, with, when you consider what we've got here. So, Definitely. Um, Let's start with the yeah, non-metallic, yeah. maybe. Okay. Yeah. So we go into a, an Alpine white with, so yeah, so that's your, uh, that's your starting point. That's your blank canvas, basically. Yep. yep. White on black, black wheels, the 826Ms, which interestingly, on your rear wheel drive car, they were a 300 pound option to go for the jet black wheel. Yes. And now that's the standard wheel that comes on the car from oh, day okay. one. So that's the default setting wheel, the 826M in jet black. Yep. Uh, as you know, you can still have your calipers in, in the three colors. Yep. Um, so that's your white car, but cool. I've, I've never known you to buy a white car. Well, right? you said, I think you said that in the last video. <laughs> what about my M1355, the LCI? The one that- Oh yeah, the one yeah, you didn't when buy from me. The one you didn't buy from me. The one, you. Didn't the one I me. didn't buy from me, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we ignore that because it's yeah, not a yeah. Tony Lewis car? <laughs> yeah. I, I actually do like, oh no, I'm, I'm, I love motorsport, don't I? So yeah. for me, that's like, yeah, buy that and then I just cover it in a load of M decals and, yeah. and performance stickers. Yeah, see, that thought alone puts yeah. me off it, yeah. so yeah. let's move on. That yeah. would make your hair curl if you oh, had it. Yeah. I just, yeah, no. no. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's put that to rest. So let's go uh, back into colours. Yeah, so we've got, and then we've got Sao Paulo yellow. 
So yeah, so that's the other non-metallic. Yeah. Um, just to point that out, I know a few people have been calling it a pearlescent paint. Um, yeah. I've seen online. But it almost does look pearlescent, doesn't well, it? Yeah, it's, it's got a depth to it, hasn't yeah. it? Of course, yeah. and, it, and it's very reflective. Yeah. Um, it's it's actually, a super cool colour. It's one of those colours that I don't think I'd ever. If I had a press car in that colour, yeah. something would be yeah. cool. But I would never have a big enough pair to sort of run that yeah. as my own car. But when I see one on Instagram or in real life, it's like, yeah, yeah. that's a cool, it's a very cool car. You're dead right. I, we've seen a few, we've sold a few, and yeah. I see them drive off and I think, wow, it looks amazing. But yeah. I think a reality check comes in and you think like, if I had that every single day, and you know, yeah. if I wanted to be under the radar, <laughs> yeah, yeah, or yeah, if yeah. I wanted to sneak out somewhere and not know any, no, you know, they're just yeah. going to see you coming, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, you wouldn't rob a bank in that car, would no. you? No, no, no. Okay. For that reason, I'm out, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, so then we'll go up to, let's, so then we've got, okay, so those two are free colours, yeah. obviously they come free with your £80,000 car. Um, <laughs> sorry, that Tony. that said, most of the metallics <laughs> are also free. Well, this is true, this is true. Um, and of course, one of our best-selling colours, as, as it always has been, is, is you know, black sapphire, which yeah. I think on that car, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because there's been so much criticism about the shape, the grills and everything. Yeah. And that, as we all know, black is just the designer's nightmare because it actually hides any design of the car. Yeah. You just get the outline silhouette yeah. and you lose a lot of detail. But it's so aggressive looking. It's so aggressive. And you know what, if I, if I did have a black one, I would actually have the red, I'd keep the red calipers because yeah. yeah. I think yeah. in that instance, it all works very well together. Yeah. Um, I, love the, I, love, I love black on BMWs and any car. I'm useless at maintaining my, sort of washing my car, keeping them clean. I'm not good at detailing, so I don't wash them because I don't want to scratch them. And a black car for me is just a living nightmare. So as much as I love and respect them, it's a no for me. Yeah. Wait, have we just missed the colour? Is this the next one? That's the next on the... Oh, on the... is this... Fr oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, because it's normal. Port them out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not no frozen. Normal. How dare you call my paint normal? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's right, because the Port them out blue, that's... I remember talking about this. At the time, it was almost like, but it's a free option. Because sometimes when you get a free paint option, you're like, either everyone's going to go for it, yeah. or it's like, well, there must be something wrong with it, because it's yeah. not... They yeah. haven't charged a grand. But... Well, there is something wrong with it. Well, I, I had one. You played it to death, and, <laughs> yes. and now it's known as Joe Achilles Blue. <laughs> the Joe Achilles Blue, yeah. I mean, I love, I, I just love the Portmore Blue. I, I liked it on the 3 Series and, and other models I'd seen it on. I think yeah. only the 3 Series I've seen. But the M3 curvaceous, yeah. it yeah. just looks very special. It's a good shade of blue. I mean, because we've got very similar colours. You know, we've got the, the tonic blue, Portmore yeah. Blue. You know, in the old days, it was Le Mans blue, and yeah. they're all Tanzanite is, is well, it's yeah, a bit more well, that's quite the dog, But those are all sort of just a shade off of each other. Yeah. Um, and we've always had that, but that actually does really look good on that car. Yeah. Um, obviously, we have got the uh, the Toronto red as well. Which yes. Is, which is very much, as you know, an orangey red. It um, is. And and again, I think it's a. I wouldn't call it a Marmite colour. In fact, remember I had red locked in yeah. in my original rear wheel yeah. drive for a while. Then I saw you had an M4 at. At Thames Ditton, I think, for a yeah. bit when before they even been launched, and it's a lovely colour, but it's it's just not quite my cup of tea. Right. But um, I think if I had like if yeah, I had yeah. ten cars in the garage yeah. and they're all different colours, I might have my M3 in the red. But yeah. as a as a everyday car, it's, I don't yeah. know, it's a bit. But it's it's an M theme colour now because it obviously came through the X3M first before it came to this model. Of course, um, and that that's always been that traditional shade of of, of that. And it is a little bit harks back to E30 M3, which was henna red. Yes. And they had very much, they had two reds in those days, which right. was the, the normal vivid red that you'd see on, say, a Sport Evo as quite a common colour. Yeah. But actually, if you travel back to when the M3 E30 actually came out, sort of 87, 86, 87 on the D, those actually were a much more orange red colour. Right. So it sort of changed. And that, that, I think, harks back to that in a little bit of tradition. Okay. But the one thing I do say to everyone about that, it looks great in the showroom when it's clean. It does sort of change quite a lot when it gets dusty or dirty. Yeah. And it kind of tones it down a lot. That's so, a bit of a red theme yeah. though, isn't it? Melbourne red on the yeah, M140s and yeah. stuff. It yeah. looks great when it's clean. When yeah. it's dirty, it just yeah. uh, it just drops away a bit. Yeah, so. absolutely. So I'm going to go to your Isle of Man Green next. Isle of Man Green. Now... This is a colour that I saw very early on. Yeah. Um, lovely colour, but it has the Long Beach Blue effect that the M2 the had. M2 had, yeah, 100%. Um, yeah. I actually love Long Beach Blue now because you don't see it too much on the comp. Yeah. But when the M2 OG was launched, they were yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the same with this. I love it. I, I really yeah. like it and appreciate it. Yeah. But, it but because it's on every it's other... It's almost M done to death, isn't it? it yeah. So, to speak. so, yeah. yeah. So... 
uh, and all the, a lot of the press cars were green, all the press shots were green. So very cool. Um, and also Tim's got one, so I can't, you know, can't have a oh, car that Tim's got. Tim's no, I mean, I'm, I'm way cooler than Tim, so yeah. Well, I don't think Tim will disagree with that. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's uh, your zero cost colours covered off. And what about those two? Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry, there's two more. This, they, yeah. they're, so, they're so anonymous, I nearly forgot. <laughs> no, I should say that. Not allowed to say that. Actually, probably our best selling colour on this range is Brooklyn Grey. So Brooklyn Grey, it's another non-cost option. Yeah. Um, another really cool colour. Uh, but another colour, in fact, I was speaking to your colleague uh, downstairs earlier about that, because you've got a lovely mm. M4 down there, Brooklyn Grey. Uh, it's another colour like the reds. It looks, when it's clean, it looks wicked. It looks yeah. amazing. Yeah. But when it's dirty, it kind of does fade away a bit. Mm. Um, but I love it. But I think Brooklyn Grey, my favourite car I've seen Brooklyn Grey on is like the X3s X3. and stuff. X3, yeah. X3 oh, and 40i's that have been going out in that colour. That's right, yeah. And the Cognac. We've done oh. quite a few now, Cognac. And it's not, when you look at it, people go, oh, I'm not yeah. sure about putting Cognac with... But it works. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. We handed one over today to a, to a really good customer, mine, Phil, name checking Phil. Yeah. Um, he, uh, he, yeah, he loves his car. He yeah. He really does. So. Nice. Okay, so that's uh, the Brooklyn. And then there's a, a, a newer edition. Yep. Which came out sort of halfway through um, production of, of the first car. So it came out three months, two, two months, three months yes. after I think we started seeing this one come through. Yeah, that was, wasn't around when we ordered no, my M3. No. It's, this um, was added added just after the launch, I think. So the first few cars didn't uh, weren't able to be ordered in that skyscraper grey. Yeah, um, and that's a real. So the M4 convertible that I had on the channel recently, that was skyscraper grey. Yeah, uh, and um, it's it's a really really nice colour. In fact, when I got it, I didn't have the press uh, spec sheet with me, and I was like, is it oxide? It was a bit of a dull day. Is it oxide? Is it yeah. drab? Which one is it? Yeah. And and yeah. and then it was skyscraper because it is similar to oxide, isn't it? In, yeah. in a, yeah. in a way. It just hasn't quite got the gold tinge to it. So yes. It's, it's almost the same. So it is a colour that it doesn't actually come out on the on the photography or on the screen. Yeah. The same as it does in the flesh. It is one as you see it, and when you see it, you can see the depth. And I love that it shows off a lot of the highlights. So it throws the shape. You know, really, the light really throws the shape of the car. Yeah. So um, the design language of the car really stands out with that, and you can see it along the bottom of the door here. Yeah. You really do see how concave the door is this, around that area. Wait, BMW speak. The swage lines. Yeah. Yeah. Well that's everyone designer speaks. Swage oh lines. sorry, is it? Yeah. No, I don't know. No. <laughs> Thanks Tony. Anyway. You've just saved loads of people commenting that but yeah, I say yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. So um, we cool. don't, what we don't like about swage lines is when you get a dent on them, you can't actually repair them. Right. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it does really highlight the lights, the, the lines of the car, and especially around the front. And of course, this is a standard car without the carbon kit on at the yeah. So we're, we're looking at it in standard effect. So now we're moving on to um, the, uh, I suppose we'd call them a semi-individual color. Mm -hmm. There, um, we we internally can order these straight from scratch as okay. an individual paints. It's not the usual price of individual paint, but it's available from the factory on a normal build basis. Yeah. Whereas uh, a, a paint to sample would be, you know, four times that price yeah. and add 12 weeks to delivery. Sure. Um, so, uh, and, and only at certain times of the year will the factory build individual paints. Yep. Sometimes we get restrictions on them. Yeah. So these are individual paints, but they are actually available to order from day one as a normal build and will not delay the car. Um, the one thing we do find though is if we order individual paint, um, these particular colours, sometimes the system doesn't allow us to convert it back to a regular colour okay. because you've created it um, as, as an individual car. As an individual, yeah. We, we, internally, it's, it's called Savvy Individual, S A B I, yeah. um, which is a, an just, acronym for he's, something. He's, I don't know what. Someone will put on a comment below and tell me what it means. Yeah, he's showing um, off now with yeah. all his internal talk. I know we can ask Tim at BMW, he'll probably. Find oh, yeah, out yeah, Tim us. King. Shout yeah. out to Tim yeah. King. He'll, he'll definitely yeah. find it. Tim find literally out. knows he's everywhere on social. Yeah. Yeah. He's like you used to be before <laughs> I knew like, you. Yeah. Tony Lewis was like present. proper guy. Yeah, proper car guy. Proper car guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, so should, we, should we look at these individuals? We'll start yeah, at the so very we, top. The first yeah. one we've got is Dravit. Yep. Dravit Grey. Yeah. Um, Dravit Grey is the colour that I was told that first M3 press car I filmed that's now done nearly 700,000 views. So thank you so much for that. 
that uh, I was told that that car was a Dravic Grey car. Obviously, these were all newish colours to me then, so I just said it's a Dravic Grey M3. But it wasn't. It was an Oxide, completely different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so I know the name very well, but yeah. I don't know the. I thought I knew the paint, but I was looking at the wrong car. Um, but yes, Dra Dravic's almost indescribable. You have to see it in the flesh under a bright light. Yeah. And you'll go, wow. I, it, what colour is it? Because yeah. it it can be brown. It can be gold. It's got green in it. It's yeah. yeah. And, and on a dull day, it will have a sort of a, a cloudy, dark grey, almost a gunmetal look to it. Yeah. But, but it still has a sort of... A, the word brown is not a pleasant colour to be using when you're describing a car colour. No. Because people associate brown with the 70s. But yeah. it's just got this underlay of brown underneath it and gold fleck that comes up through it. Yeah. Um, and, it and it can look three different colours in five, you know, just as it drives past you almost. Yeah. It's that lovely, different almost, weathers. Yeah, and... like, like two-tone almost. Yeah, you know, so. it's, it's very cool. Yeah. It's got, the, it's got a, a, the black stealthy effect to it, but yeah. you can see the lines. And it still and, brings the design yeah. of the car out. So, oh. Ta yeah, Tanzanite. Yeah, next one is Tanzanite Blue, which again, in the showroom, just looks absolutely stunning. Under yeah. a spotlight, when you see Tanzanite Blue, you just fall in love with it. Yeah. But, it, but there's a negative that runs side by side, and you know what I'm going to say. Yeah, today. well, I know what you're going to say, because, yeah, we've, uh, we've seen some together. I've, yeah. I've, I remember seeing some down at Berkeley Detailing. Uh, now I've had one of your cars down yeah. there, one of your customer cars, and it actually arrived quite with marks on it, as they tend to do sometimes. Yeah. But if it was a normal colour, you could have probably got it out in the showroom, but he yeah. went to town with this one. And when it was done and finished, it was literally the best colour in the world. But... <laughs> you've now got to keep it like <laughs> you've, that. You've got to keep it like that. And it's very similar to um, uh, piano black trim, I always say. That's yeah. what it's like in my head. Piano black trim looks fantastic when it's new, but it's very easily marked in the interior. And that's what that paint to me is like. It just shows every tiny little surface scratch. Um, so beautiful colour, but just not for me. I, and again, that was something I was going to go with the M3 originally. Yeah. That with the Carlami Orange, what a contrast, what a combo. Yeah, brilliant. But it would have looked, I mean, six months in, Petrohead Tours, track that it, mine, it would, yeah. <laughs> mine would be, mine would look like Primer, Brooklyn Grey almost, yeah. See, the issue that the detailers have fed back to us is that, that this is what they call a, a very soft paint. So right. Doesn't mean that the actual paint itself is softer than other paints, but it's the fact that the lacquer is what scratches. Yeah. And obviously you've got lacquer on top of the paint on these. Yeah. But a dark blue paint, it by its very nature, reflects scratches right. through the lacquer. Right. Which means it effectively magnifies anything. So on a jet black car, you'd yeah. see a very light scratch, but on this dark blue, it would look awful. You'd see a huge white scratch. Right. Because of the way it reflects light back on itself. So yeah. The maintenance is never ending. You know, yeah. you really do have to be aware of what you're buying and look after it. And yeah. I do try and tell all my customers the same thing. It's a lovely colour, but you do need to maintain it. Yeah. You know, you can't just wash it at the roadside and hope it'll still look stunning after. No, so no. You do have to tread carefully with that one. Yeah. Okay, so next colour to look at is oxide grey. Yeah. Which is honestly one of my favourite colours. Yeah. And, and obviously we've seen a lot of this sort of in the, you know, social media because Imran at Evolve has got this on his one hasn't it it looks lovely with what he's done to his but absolutely yeah, I really I, I think that really suits the car really I think lovely. it does and that is actually the the color that was on the press car that I had that yeah, I was told yeah, was Drava yeah. Grey was the oxide yes, yes, yes. Um, it right. suits the car you can see all the lines yeah. and it's it's a stunning color yeah. uh, it really is yeah but I think a bit like with the green, just because yeah. Imran's got it yeah. and it's been there yeah. and Imran has done the internet with it. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be something I'd go for, but it is a beautiful colour. And if someone's looking at oxide, I can't recommend it high enough. And it kind of, I can imagine it doesn't show up too many because of the colour. It's a bit yeah. it's a bit silvery, isn't it, yeah. in a way? Um, so it won't show yeah, up too these, many. You're right, these, these silver greys, they they're the ones that you can actually get quite grubby and they, they still look the same. They yeah. don't look too bad. They, they handle it really, really well. Yeah, nice. Okay, so that's oxide grey. Yep. Um, so then that takes us back to, this is a colour we talked about the first time around, wasn't it? You were No, I mean, no, this is no? a colour we talked about a few months ago when, okay. when I was talking to you about a possible yeah, yeah, X-Drive. Yeah. I knew it was, um, in the yeah. back of my mind, it was you, you'd mentioned this colour before. Right? Yeah. And none of us have seen it on this car, because no. it's only on a handful of cars. And yeah. you know, we've had the odd four series come through in this colour. Well, see. this is another colour that was introduced after I ordered my, yeah. my yeah. Portimao Blue yeah. one. Um, it's a colour that I'm actually quite familiar with, because I had that M8 Grand Coupe that Lou and I took around to Italy 
last year, uh, summer of 2020, that tiny period of like no lockdowns, and we're really lucky. We managed yeah. to scoot through a few countries, and um, and I tell you what, on that it was a beaut- It's a very classy colour. Yeah. Um, it goes well with black leather. It goes well with silverstone leather. We we have sold a couple of these actually in this colour, and then the guys are loving them. Yeah. You know, and it, it does. I have to say, when it goes out, you know, when it's been detailed and it's really shiny on a lovely day. Yeah. Again, it's a colour that that's got so many different contrasts of the red in it. So you've you've gone from burgundy to almost a black in the cloudy days to to a really bright red when the sun hits it. Yeah. It's, it's a lovely colour. It and is. you can see why it's it's the extra money. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So um, that's that's uh, that's all the colours. Well, there's two more down oh, here. Oh yeah. Course. There's um, the, the, the frozen brilliant white at 3985, which is, um, uh, yeah, I, I, sh- I kind of struggle with this one. And I think you, you, you've always said the same thing, haven't you, with the frozen paints? It's, it's, but on the white, I'm not, I'm not, I don't understand no. it. We've actually got one in our Heathrow showroom, uh, an M4 at the minute in this. Yeah. And you, you, it's, called, it's like you feel it and it feels really, really nice. But actually to look at it, it just doesn't really do anything, I don't think. It's... I just don't. I, I get frozen paints because I yeah. think they look amazing, and if you, again, if you can upkeep them well enough, then that's great. But I, yeah, I don't get. I don't get with the white, like yeah. any colour, but yeah. white, even frozen yeah, yeah, black yeah. looks. Yeah, Fro- yeah. Oh, frozen yeah. black. Yeah. Frozen black. Well, you've got frozen yeah. black on your. Yeah. Well, actually, that's dark grey, believe it or not. But oh, it's dark. So, yeah, it's not oh, it's black, so dark. But, it, but it's so dark, <laughs> it might as well be black. <laughs> yeah. but, yeah. So um, that's a story for another day. Yeah, but that's, yeah, yeah I don't understand. And, and what is it, four and grand or yeah, something? Yeah, it's knocking on yeah. four, you know. I, I mean, fair enough, if you really like white and you like frozen colours, but I mean, frozen portamal, well, that's, I mean, yeah. that's a yeah. stunning colour. Yeah. As we, as I know, and as we all know, it's, it's a lovely colour and the frozen does bring it out even more. Yeah. Um, but once again, frozen, it's not a colour I would ever consider in, until I win the lottery and I've got my own private detailer mm. but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every drive it's like right can you detail it uh it just would look grubby and horrible after a while with me but um mm. but yeah i can see where the money is in that and they certainly look fantastic um so you're going to ask me to make a choice now aren't you, well i mean that that is the point of today really we, we uh, need to lock something in for you because yeah. otherwise it was pretty pointless you coming down here well yeah so, the light's <laughs> fading so, so yeah. yeah so we we're, um, we're going to put you on the spot um, you, I, I, can't, I can guess where you're going to go with some of the other options, so that'll probably yeah. be easy. But this, yeah. this is the critical one, isn't it? This is the, because this is your, I don't want to say clickbait, because that's really not right for your channel, but this is your, your image. This, it, is, this is you. This is, this is, is your thumbnail, isn't it? It's going to be everything. So. And it's going to be hard to go away from that, yeah, yeah, because yeah. that is something I'm very familiar with and has gone down very well with everyone. So, um, uh, well, we... So the, you, ma- the magic, the, <laughs> we just do the old roulette. Of, <laughs> we have been looking at end up. We, we, To be fair, off camera, we've been talking about a few options and obviously Tony does know which way I'm going to be going with this um, because I changed my mind for the 50th time this morning when I came and see him. But I'm actually um, so confused. I'm not quite sure yeah. I do know where you're going with it, to be fair. I think we've been here before. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Like, one of the cars, about, can you paint? Like, oh, wait, is that? And then we turn the cameras off and you're like, <laughs> I honestly didn't know which way you're going to go there. <laughs> Uh, but I think um, Venturi Med's lovely. Uh, that's probably second or third choice. Uh, it really came down to between, uh, in the end, uh, Skyscraper Grey and Dravit Grey. Uh, and I know it goes against what I've kind of said six months ago uh, or more with the, with the blue one, in the sense that it was like, oh, I'm not just going to go grey or silver or black because it's just, it needs mm-hmm. to... But... I think it would be a lovely contrast to the blue. It would be something very different. And I'm going to go with the Dravic Grey because <laughs> yeah, because I haven't seen too many out there. Uh, it's a very deep and I know it's weird to say colourful on a grey paint, but it, as Tony was saying, there's so many different sort of layers to it. Mm. Uh, it looks very different in different lights. And I think providing I don't go for a black interior, which again would be a classy approach to it, but not, I, I need to do something a bit colorful with the car. So Dravit Grey is definitely locked in. I'm not gonna mess you around anymore on that one, Tony. Um, we'll go maybe to wheels next, actually. Oh. Yeah, sorry to ruin your... <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put a bit of, a desperate to a bit of color on this car. <laughs> The wheels um, aren't going to put any yeah, colour on it. They're, actually, they're yeah, grey, gonna... silver or black. And they're yeah. round. Well, yeah, the wheel option, it's funny because you get five wheel options, but actually you really only get two wheel options and different colours. Yeah, I mean, it's better yeah. than having none. 
Um, I was hoping by now, and I'm hoping by the time the touring comes out, they offer another different style. Although I do really like this, I think they look fantastic. Mm. The X3M competition face LCI yeah. looks brilliant with, the, yeah, with the, really, these sort yeah. of wheels on yeah. it. Um, I'm going to go for the same. I know people are going to be like, oh, black wheels, <laughs> they don't look good in pictures. But for those of you that are avid watchers of the channel and Instagram, you, you, some of you actually noticed that I do have a second set of wheels now, which are the black and silver ones, so the silver front yeah. for the black bicolor 826s. Yeah. So same design, but and they've at the moment they've got PS4s on them. But anyway, so I've got two sets of wheels, so I like to swap them up. So instead of getting the same, I'll get the black 826s, which is what I had on the on the blue one. Broke the internet again. Broken the internet again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, that, no it's, again. it's that wheel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that's, that's what that's I've got. The, that's, my what, spares. that's your spare set. Yeah. To buy a colour black wheel. Yeah, and so I'm gonna. So considering I've got them, I'll have yeah the the, the ones that will come in the car will be all black. And I know yeah. that in pictures and on video, black wheels don't look that great. And I'll be the first to put my hand up and say I'm n not usually the biggest black wheel fan, but I think they really suit this shape and car. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in real life, especially, obviously our eyes are better than pictures and stuff. And mm. yeah, I think so. I'm going to stick with eight two six yeah. black wheels. So we just show that the alternative wheel course was the eight two five. Yep. We'll which, just have a look at that. Which, yeah. Uh, which weirdly is actually a cost option on this car. Oh, okay. So it's um, it's the reverse, if you like, of the standard two wheel drive car. So yeah. uh, on the X Drive, you do get the jet black eight two six wheel as the default choice wheel, okay. which would have been a three hundred pound option yeah. had you gone the other way with the two wheel drive stuff. So I suppose the point I'm trying to make is that actually bridges the gap. If that was the wheel you were going to have on a two wheel drive, yeah. suddenly your X Drive is three hundred pounds cheaper. Yeah, because you haven't got to pay for that wheel. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. This 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 is the eight two five. Always wheel. a salesman. Yeah, there he is, yeah. 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 Well, actually trying to save you some money. <laughs> <laughs> or am I? Um, so this is the eight two five wheel, which again, yeah. I, I personally think looks great in pictures, but yeah. is the reverse of the eight two six in the sense that when you see it in the flesh, it, it, I don't know, it's just to my eye, it looks a little bit complicated, a bit, a bit awkward, yeah. yeah, yeah. But but actually yeah. looks really good on that. Color, it does, it does, it? It really yeah. Sets that off. But, yeah, you yeah. almost need the silver. So maybe yeah. my silver 826s will look yeah. better, yeah, yeah. but I've got the option. So, yeah. And as you say, there is a fifth choice with the 826 wheel, um, yep. which would have been to have track day tyres. Yeah. Um, God, that's gone up in price, so, isn't it? Now. Uh, oh, but that's because it's. Oh, we're 850. Yeah, or is it be, always? Yeah, no, because. Is that with cup twos or something with it? It's got the cup twos and it's the reverse because you're actually paying £300 for the bike car. Oh, of wheel. course. So, yeah, so that kind of comes back round yeah. the other way if that makes sense yeah um so um so you're sticking with jet black yes in which case without standing on tony's toes here obviously yeah. but this is me not bmw uk if you're gonna get looking at getting tracked up just don't even bother get get the normal ones with normal tires and a set of cup twos is going to cost you about 900 quid yeah. and then you've got two sets of tires for yeah 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 do you see what i mean yeah yeah um but that's a good point. Yeah, but I said that, not Tony. I don't want to get him in trouble. Uh, or buy a lovely set of M Performance wheels for four or five thousand pounds, which also come with track day tyres. So, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's always a tyre lottery, and as you know, my M3 arrived on Pirelli's, uh, and I swapped them for Michelin's because I'm a Michelin fanboy. Um, but yeah, it's a complete tyre lottery. You know, this might turn up on Pirelli's, it might turn up on PS4s's. It's got nothing to do with Tony, and in fact, really nothing to do with anyone. It's I wish, just I wish I did have a say in it because it would obviously make life so much easier. Because we all know what we want on the car. Yeah. Um, but you're right. I mean, even my my Foot Isle of Man M4 turned up with Pirelli's. With you Pirelli's, know? yeah. If I had a steer on it, I would have been swapping wheels. Steer and tires. on it, <laughs> boom, boom, hey. Um, but, but yeah, no, it's it's a complete lottery. And and like I said, when I got my M3, honestly, the missions, in my opinion, are better. But for me. It was even though I get help from Michelin, even a, you know as a normal paying customer, if you just put some Michelins on it, when you come to trading the car back in or whatever, time it right so that the tire, the Michelins are dead by the time you trade it in. Put your P zeros back on it again and give it back to the dealership. So, yep. um, so there's always a way around it. But anyway, I just I always have to talk about tires in videos and the lever choices. We we know the default choice is the black lever, straight black lever. Yep. Um, 
and obviously it doesn't matter which seat you have in the car, whether you've got the standard seat or the upgraded M carbon bucket seats, yep. the, the color of the interiors are the same right the way through here. Um, but there are, there's, only, there's only the zero cost option of black, straight black leather. Yep. Then you can move up to a 300 pound colored leather. Yep. So that's basically the same merino leather, but just extended, not full. Um, and you can have that in the Yasmarina interior. Yep. The colors are coming up there. So we've got the Yasmarina, which is really the, the, the base blue with the yellow highlights, yep. which you know, works with a lot of colors, but is very bold. Uh, the very safe choice with a lot of people going with, which is the Silverstone yep. with the black center band. That's, three, nice. that's the 300 pound option. Yep. You know very well Kyle Army Orange yep. for the 300 pound option. That's what you've got now. Uh, and then you have those upgraded to full interior as well, yeah. which is the 1700 in the black or 2000 in the other colors. Which but, is extended, which is the extended leather pack, yeah. Uh, well, full, full leather. So it's very oh. confusing, yeah. Oh. So, so extended leather is the 300 pound option and okay. the full merino leather is the 17 or 2000 pound option. Right. So, so that's full. So a lot of, That's I, extended, I think, yeah. extended leather. Yeah, it is. We have to be very careful when people are asking me, I'm always double, double checking, yeah. treble checking, yeah. that they, they, they know which one they actually want. And that, um, that's an interesting one, just quickly on the leather there, because uh, all the press cars have got the full leather, yep. as you call it, uh, and and it, th there's no doubting with the full leather, it brings the interior in the car up. Yeah, because that's it, where that's what you're getting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so you get all full this, cover, everything yeah. below the dash yep. is leather, yep. the dash itself is leather, the top of the door cards is leather, yep. on the normal extended leather, none of that is. It's just a simulated sort of Imprint, rubbery imprint rubberized yeah leather, which, rubberized to look like leather but yeah. which wears really well it doesn't look offensive at all but it just looks there's no difference between that and like a normal regular let's say 318d or whatever so if you want your m3 or m4 to look extra special especially on the inside it is definitely worth the investment especially when you look at i guess if you're financing it and stuff it probably gives the car a bit better residuals as well um but for me it you know as i say so many times I'm not made of money. If I won the lottery tomorrow, if I had lots of money, undoubtedly that would be ticked because it's nice. But trying to keep the cost of the car relatively low, <laughs> uh, that I, I'm, I'm going to go again just without the okay. full leather. Um, but in terms of colours, well, we've got some new choices again. This has come yeah. about since ordering your first car. That's so it. We've now got the introduction of Fiona Red, yep. which is clearly something I've been ticking for years on X3s and whenever it was available. Yep. It's like, you know me with red leather. Um, so you have Fiona Red in extended and in full. Yep. Um, and we have an ivory white now as well, um, which, which, is, again, which is, is new. So tell me the ivory white compared to the Silverstone, is it? Sounds silly, but is yeah. it just whiter? Is it yeah, just more? Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sil Silverstone's Sil more Sil silvery. Sil Silverstone has got a silver grey fleck to it. Yeah. Ivory is really is an off-white. Yeah, it's, it's, it's and, very, and there's very no white. black on there because the Silverstone you get the black down the centre, right? Or is it the other way around? You get the black black down the centre on Silverstone. Yeah. but this is a full white seat, and the same even if it's a bucket seat. Yeah, it's full white. So we'll bring up the bucket seat again in a minute. So so with the ivory, it's it's yeah. a yeah. it's definitely not a chart. I wouldn't go with that if you're like a family M3 yeah. uh, with it's kids. A bit, it's a bit like opal white used to be. You know, yeah. you warn people about blue jeans. You know, yeah. wet wet jeans on that is a bit of a no no. It's a no no. Yeah. yeah, looks cool though. With it looks very cool with the Dravit. Yeah, um, very nice contrast actually. Um, and then, yeah, and then you obviously got the Tony Lewis, although you're more of a bright red sort of, and yeah, anything red. I like anything but red. Anything, yeah, 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 but, just, um, yeah. and shinier the better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a magpie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's your ideal. Yeah, yeah, that's, I, I like that. I like that with the black because again, it just pulls it all through from the doors yep. to the seat to the dashboard. Yeah. You, you don't need the full. And thing. even on the outside, that smaller shot there, I don't know if we can click on that one. Um, but even there with the lights, they kind of, yeah. even yeah. that kind yeah. of blends into, yeah. um, uh, so yeah, so we'll go back, go back to the page with the, with the, um, palettes on it. I suppose what, what I might suggest, should we, I, I mean, you're not, you're never not going to have the carbon seat. Are you? <laughs> I mean, we've, we've built this from scratch. So yeah. we're starting with the base seat. I know yeah. that, but. 
the reality is, should we not show it as a carbon bucket? I mean, yeah. are you going to surprise me and go, I don't want the carbon buckets this time? Yeah, yeah. no, you're, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's drop that option in. Yeah, so let's, got, let's we, we so we'll go back to the, yeah. yeah so we we'll go to the main street, just carbon to pack. The carbon pack. And you can still order yeah. them individually, can't you? Yeah, you can. You just, you, you make a very small saving by combining the two. So yep. if you are going to have the two, then carbon pack clearly saves you like 150 odd pound, but, sure. but you can split them. So um, the carbon pack consists of the carbon seats, the bucket seats, which I absolutely love, and the carbon exterior pack, uh, which are like the most noticeable, the intakes on the front are very different, yeah. uh, the, the mesh goes, um, and then you have lots of carbon, like wing mirror caps, spoiler, diffuser, um, I think that's roughly about it. Yeah. Um, but it, it changes does. the shape of the front because of the air intake. That's the, right. The, the lower valance at the front looks slightly different with yeah. a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's one of those you, you kind of, you, you, if you see one without it, you think something's missing, but you're not quite sure what. What? And yeah. then when you see one with it, you go, oh, yeah, that makes sense. So it yeah. isn't, it's not a night and day difference. And no. It, and, it, and, it, and it does give you that ability to still buy the car without feeling you've, un, you've underdone it by yeah. not having it. So it works both ways, really. Yeah. But yeah, look, that's the carbon seat in red. Yeah. I mean, uh, on. Yeah, on. Yeah. go for it. <laughs> well, be, be brave. <laughs> I, I, I am. I'm going to make Tony's day here, and I am going to go. Uh, I'm going to go with Fiona. Fiona Red, it's called, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to go with Fiona Red. A couple of reasons again. One, I wanted it to be a bit different because I think Colomi Orange would have looked great in there. Yeah, Silverstone would have looked great in there. Yeah. In fact, Black would have looked great. Uh, they would all look good to yeah, be fair even, with that. Even the blue works with it, with the yellow yeah. lights. So, yeah. Yeah. So they would all they would all look good, um, but I this is a newer color, so I thought less there's less M3s yeah. and M4s with the, 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 this uh, interior out there, and I've never had a red interior, but it's not it's it's a lovely deep red, um, and with the black contrast and stuff, I just think it's going to be really special. I'm going to miss my Carl Army orange. But they are bright, and especially on camera, I've noticed on a sunny day, it's yeah. like <laughs> it's really bright. Yeah, it really is. Uh, so um, uh, yeah, and I'm not. I wouldn't want to go car on me again because then any in-car stuff would look like I was driving the same car. So it's got to be different. So let's lock in Fiona Red. So Dravet Grey, Fiona Red, Carbon Pack. Yeah. Um, Can I just highlight something that I've noticed on here, which it, it, I do know this, but yeah. I just want to highlight it as it's shown here. But yeah. Because this is classified as an individual lever, yeah. um, the Fiona Red and the uh, Ivory White, when you have an individual lever, even if it's a £300 option, can you see that they've matched the bounding, they've lever bound the carpet mats with a matching colour? Oh! So you don't, you don't notice this, it doesn't mention it anywhere, but actually when you pick the car up, yeah. whatever oh, colour... So will it have? What, will yeah, it have yeah. so what's on the lever, effectively, they will bind, uh, bound the edge oh, of the mats with, a, with a, a lever piping that matches the colour. So again, just very small details, but yeah. it's all those bits that add up when you look at yeah. it and you go, wow, it's, it looks amazing. Oh, that's worth so, it alone, so, so, isn't yeah. it? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> they probably are three hundred pounds if you wanted to buy them extra. Yeah, yeah, at that, so, least so, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Um, so cool. let's, yeah, sorry. So we go back into the packages. So we yep. we we've picked your M carbon package here. Yep. And um, I know we went through all of these options last time. Yep. But we'll uh, we won't spend as much time looking at them. But there are obviously some essentials there that yep. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to stick. You've had biz pack on your current car. I have, and I'm going to go for that again. And I have to say, and again, I said it last time, visibility pack just consists of laser lights, but I say just. Mm. Um, honestly, I mean, LED technology is very good. Uh, and I swap between cars. I've got my M2. I get lots of press cars that have mostly got a combination of both. Either. Where I live, I, like I live out in the sticks, especially this time of year, you know, it's yeah. dark by four o'clock. It's laser lights when you're used to them. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they're just, they're unreal. Yeah. Yeah. And even taking a step back to a good set of LEDs, um, my other half has some on her S3 and they're good lights, but in isolation, they're great. But when you get out of laser lights, so, and I think it's honestly the best 1500 quid you can spend. And that's before you then look at the aesthetics of it. Um, I love the 
you know, it, it just brings and and the the, the daylight runners are different yeah, as well, yeah, aren't yeah. they? Um, yeah, you get a full the full icon wraparound light, which is like a three D look as opposed to just the two lines at the bottom. At the bottom, yeah. So so again, it does have a much more striking look. The blue the blue light inside obviously just denotes that it's laser light. So yeah, again, it's a lovely little telltale design feature. Yeah. But just to point out, fifteen hundred pounds, but. Most people are on a PCP. And yeah. Some of that goes on to the residual value. Exactly. So it, it boosts the GFE, which means you're not funding the whole of the 1500. No. And depending on who, you, who you're buying the car from, there may be some discount on the car, which means there's yeah. discount on the options. So yeah. actually, it was not 1500 pounds. It might have been 1300 pounds, 1400 pounds. So yeah. yeah, it's a saving. And, and it is actually, when you add it up, when it's coming out at like 12 pounds a month, 15 pounds a month extra, you kind yeah. of go, yeah, it's, it's, it, you just got to have it, haven't you? Yeah. And it could save your life, don't forget, because like you say, the well, visibility you get out of them yeah. could be the difference between seeing seeing a parked car in the middle of the road or not. So. Definitely. I mean, and where I live, I'm surrounded by 60 roads. And I mean, to be fair, most times during the day, you can't do 60 down some of them because they're twisty and whatever, mm. and quite dangerous roads, I'd almost call them. But at night, so with normal rubbish lights, you can't do more than about 35 or 40 lasers. But with lasers, it's honestly like driving in the day. And it, it makes it safer, A, and m makes it closer to the speed limit, B, which is obviously important in your M car. You want to utilize it all the time. So yeah, cool. Uh, well, I think we're almost there, Tony. There's, there's one thing missing, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you guess as to what that might be. Well, I think mm. that it would be a mistake <laughs> to go this time with black calipers. Oh, what? Can, can you... <laughs> I just think there's too much darkness in the car, and you've got this red lever sitting there, you've got the red tail lights. Just bring it together with some red calipers, please. But the problem with that is... <laughs> the problem... Yeah. I, I get what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. The problem with it... Is, and without seeing one and actually being like told that no, I'm wrong, the, 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 the red and the caliper and the, in the red and the Fiona red seats, slightly different. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah. I don't. I don't. Well, depending on the level of OCD of the person <laughs> like, answering the question, maybe. But I'd be worried that I'd be like, yeah. And then, and then I wouldn't be able to unsee it. Yeah, and okay. so in yeah, my, you, can, you can never unsee stuff. I get that. No, okay. and right. in my head, it's your car. It's like I want it to be as clean as possible, with something a little bit funky in the interior, and my pinstripe red mats, which I'm really mate. They are. All right, I'm, I'm on, more I'm excited on. about them than, yeah, than, than the car now. They will match the seats because it's the same colour. So yeah. All right. So okay. so I'm going to go for for those of you who don't know, you get three different colour options on the regular steel brakes. You get yep. uh, blue. Um, which is estrel blue, isn't it, I think, or thereabouts. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to say what blue because it, it, it does vary slightly. It's slightly dark. I mean, some of the cars now, they're actually calling it navy blue because oh, okay. they're, they're highlighting it's a darker blue. Okay. But, but it, it's a blue. Yeah. Let's, let's so you get a <laughs> blue and you get uh, the configurator will, will, will put red on there um, as default. Yeah. Uh, but you can opt for black as well, which I had in my M3. And I think that's kind of cool. The best looking calipers unfortunately are the eight thousand pound carbon ceramic calipers uh, but i can't justify that um and as i say i've used them on the road a lot and to be fair in terms of like any even on track they've got less fade hmm. but i think really it's all about the unsprung weight is the main yeah. advantage yeah. and the what they just look they, they look to die for uh, again it would be like if i won the lottery it'd be like yeah full leather carbon ceramics all but keeping it at a you know these brakes apart from the rear pads which these do eat for breakfast um but the actual stopping power of them unbelievable so uh, um, i wonder if the rear pads on these will do a bit better because you've got the x drive and of course the rear pads are getting eaten mainly because of the the way that the the, the brake, this the systems, the traction control system is using well, the rear control. brakes. What's that? So, oh, what well, yours is always turned off, <laughs> aren't it? That can't be the reason that you've ruined yours then. <laughs> well, no, that's why I've been scratching for, my head. For, for most of us, yeah, for, yeah. we end up doing a lot of rear braking yeah. because we're actually going in too fast, and the car, of course, is braking an inside wheel at yeah. the rear, yep. and that's putting premature wear onto the Of pads. course, yeah. But, you know, being yeah. you, Mr. No, Mr. What? No, Mr. No. Track Day Driver, Drift King, then yeah. yeah, I suppose. Well, I tend to drive mine, honestly, unless I'm going to the shops and yeah. just cruising, I tend to turn it off all the time because I, these are such a good chassis in these cars that I feel safer knowing it's my right foot controlling everything than the car. And I'm not saying I'm better than the car systems because the systems in these are amazing. 
But that would definitely that make would have sense. Been the, yeah, a, but apart from the fact that you've just ruined that ruined theory. your equation okay, completely. Right. Yeah, we'll um, just cut that from the edit. I, I think they've just gone with a. I think they've gone with a softer pad yeah. on this generation to make, but in in return for a much much better feeling brake. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because compared to even the F80, well, the E92 didn't have particularly good brakes. Uh, and anything before that, like the E46, were tragic compared to how good the car was. The, the standard brakes were just... Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, I, and I think, yeah, the F80 were better, but still not amazing. These things, out of the box, unbelievable. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with the pad compound. That makes sense, because I tell you what, thinking back to the F10 M5, yeah. many of customers I, I've known were in for squealing brakes, because yeah. we obviously had a really hard compound. And it was about, well, it's a 200 mile an hour car, of course it needs these sorts of brakes. Yeah. But the uproar from our general customers who weren't doing track days or going to Nürburgring, yeah. they were like, I just don't want a car that squeals in the high street. Yeah, in your classy and, M5. And maybe yeah. this is that answer, because of course we're trying to make a car that has much more mass appeal. Yeah. And it's still an M car, but actually you can use it every day. So yeah, yeah your, your, your reasoning is probably right there. Probably. Probably. So yeah. we're, we're not gonna, sc we're, we're not worried about things like these pro packs. I mean, you know, our, I think most of the people that have watched your videos have seen you go through all of these packs before anyway. Yeah. They? So, I mean, I mean, yeah. I'm not, I know one of them's got like a big brother camera on it. Yeah. Um, Technology plus yeah. pack. Not that I would be doing anything yeah. silly, no. of course, but Com just in case. Comfort pack gives you, you know, your, your heated steering wheel. Yeah. Comfort access, electric boot lid. Um, nice to have, but not extra you know, weight. And, and weight. Yeah, that's <laughs> trouble. All in the wrong place. Yeah. Um, ultimate pack. Actually, that's not bad, you know. When when you see someone go, actually, yeah. do you know what? I want the carbon pack. Yeah. And I want the Viz pack. And and I'm going to have a comfort pack. Yeah. All of a sudden, that actually eleven two fifty, and that also includes the full merino leather right. of two thousand pounds. Yeah. So when you you tot it up, there's quite a saving there. So, yeah. You know. Oh, that's all right. That one. Can and die. that and that and that does actually add, you know, so, some value to the car again yeah. on the residual value when you put the whole pack together. Yeah. The residual value on finance increases quite dramatically with that. Anyway, yeah. that's not uh, that's not. Yeah, no, that makes about. sense. A lot of the press cars had the ultimate pack yeah. on it, yeah. and it's like, yeah, when you look at it like that. Cool. Well, I think I think that's pretty much it. Done. Oh, I get, yeah. do I get a warning triangle thrown in? So um, yeah, I know wow. some of some of the things that we include on the car in standard here in blue. Just uh, acoustic glass is something you could probably live without because it's what stops all the lovely noise from coming in and adds it? weight so, and that's weight. yeah, yeah no it's, it's true and and weight up high, high as well yeah, yeah. they put a carbon roof in and yeah. then they almost stitch you up with acoustic yeah. glass no i agree with that um but so much of this stuff is standard on this car, yeah so there's hardly any other options there to talk about as you come down it's really the packs at the top there i mean i'm not so, left wanting the car i've got at the moment the spec i've got which is exactly the same spec I, I there's not a day that i get in that car and i'm like oh i wish i had this or that or like it's got yeah, because it comes with head up. It comes with so yeah, much I know. stuff. Yeah. Leather yeah. head up display. Compared, compared to the previous model, you know, yeah, the, the, these options are. You know, they're, they're, you're right. I mean, you sit there and you go, well, actually, it is carbon pack and this pack, isn't it? Yeah. And no doubt, you don't need a heated steering wheel because I'm sure you're no. going to get a lovely royal steering wheel fitted yes. to it. By yeah. Our friend Jack. <laughs> yes. At some point. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And why not? So, nice. so yeah. So that kind of is is your car then, is it? I mean, yeah. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh mate, I'm excited about it. I am. I'm excited about it. I'm more so excited because it is going to feel like a new car and a different car because it's yeah. a different colour. Uh, it's very different to Portmore Blue and, and the orange, um, but I think it's very classy and and I haven't seen really any out there in that spec yet. Yeah, uh, I, with, I haven't delivered any in that combo. So yeah, so you're, I think yeah. you're right. It will be. It'll be interesting to see it, and it will be one of the first. Hopefully. Nice. Yeah. So um, we'll get that locked in for you. Yeah. And you know, subject to the car being built on time and yeah. no delays and shortages, because it is su such a strange time at the moment. Yeah. It's frustrating. You know, for customers, clearly, it's frustrating. For us as dealers, it's frustrating. Yeah. Cool, mate. All right, mate. Well, well, we'll, lock, um, we'll, we'll lock yeah. that in for you then. I guess we'll do a cheesy handshake. Yeah. Look, look, you got to look at the camera, Tony. <laughs> got him back again. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> Uh, fantastic, man. Um, guys, thanks so much for watching. I know this is a long video, but if yeah, you're sorry. still here. <laughs> yeah, no, I think people that are still here obviously enjoy this sort of content. And, uh, and yeah, it's always fun making it with Tony. It's always a bit of fun making it, isn't it? Always yeah. a bit of fun. And there's a massive prize at the end of it for me, um, although slightly delayed. Um, but, yeah, really looking forward to picking this up. And I hope that 
you'll uh, enjoy the content that's going to be coming and, uh, and you like the spec that I've gone for. But please feel free to leave any comments below and let me know what you would go for um, if it was your M3 or M4. And obviously Tony's details, etc., will be below in the description. Uh, so if you're looking at getting one yourself, uh, please drop him a line and, uh, and yeah, see, see what he can do. Obviously bear with him though, because he's always busy and all of the complications that we just yeah. talked about, uh, yeah, lead times are left, right here, up, down, all over the place. Just so. one man with one pair of hands. Can I, yeah. can I only reply to so many people? In a given day, he even so. ignores me sometimes. So yeah, Hook that's for the knot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Oh no, was he? What it was a spec changer. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony. Well, I can't change this now because I made a video about it. Oh, oh no. yeah, what a bonus! We need to do this more often. Oh that's brilliant. no, it really is. As in locked, it's properly locked in. Um, cool, guys. I'll see you at another video very, very soon. Cheers, Tony. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, Joe. Yes. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. What, 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 I don't want to do Because everyone always comments about how many icons are on my phone. Oh, shit. Yeah. Because that's just the way I am. Look at it. I'm old school. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>